Growing up, one of my favorite Saturday morning TV programs was the live-action filmation version of Shazam, which debuted on CBS in 1974. On that show, Jackson Bostwick played Captain Marvel, while teen heartthrob Michael Gray played his younger alter ego reporter Billy Batson. And then there was Les Tremaine, who played Mentor on the show. Mentor was there to guide Billy and help him recognize those special moments when he needed to say the magic word Shazam and summon one of the world's most powerful, mightiest mortals. In a recent interview on Pat McCormack's Golden Rage of TV podcast, actor Michael Gray talked about the extraordinary bond that he had with his Shazam co-star Les Tremaine. Their camaraderie extended far beyond their work. Les, a veteran in the entertainment industry, had a career that stretched back to the golden age of radio. Les Tremaine was a household name during the radio era, captivating audiences with his commanding voice and versatile performances. He was one of the most popular entertainers on the airwaves, lending his voice to a multitude of shows from gripping dramas to light-hearted comedies. Back in the 30s and 40s, radio listeners, both young and old, tuned in faithfully eagerly anticipating the next adventure or drama brought to life by Les's remarkable talent. His voice became a staple in the homes of countless families, including that of Michael Gray's parents. At one point during Les's career, the only voice more recognizable than his own to the American public was Bing Crosby's. Yep. That's how well-known Les Tremaine was to a generation of Americans, and Les parlayed that success into many different TV and movie roles later on as well. Too many to mention in this video, but you get it, right? In his day, Les Tremaine was a pretty darn big deal. So imagine the sheer astonishment when Michael Gray decided to surprise his parents with an early Christmas gift one year by bringing Les with him to a holiday dinner. Now that may not seem like a big deal to you or me, but to Michael's parents, having Les at their table would be akin to one of us having Tom Cruise or Sandra Bullock over for dinner. In short, they were absolutely flabbergasted. For Michael's parents, this unexpected gift became a treasured memory, one that they would fondly recall for years. It was the kind of gift that is all too rare these days. It wasn't a gift that had any sort of monetary value, but instead was simply the gift of time. And not just Les's, but Michael's as well. His parents treasured the time that he spent with them even after fame had come his way. He was, after all, just their son Michael to them. Although Les has been gone since 2003, I still notice that Michael posts on social media recalling his friendship with this legendary entertainer. Each time I see a post by Michael about Les, I am reminded how close these two clearly were, and that Les truly earned the name Mentor, not just on the TV show that they worked on together so long ago, but in real life as well. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Please share your own special holiday memories in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, I would appreciate it if you clicked on that little thumbs up icon. And what the heck, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know the good stuff. Wait, wait, are you still here? Well, hey, if you've stuck around this long, you clearly are a valued member of my YouTube community. And I want to say thank you, and I also want to wish you the happiest of holiday seasons, no matter what you celebrate. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever. I just hope it's a really joyous one for you and your family. And also, I wanted to thank my channel members, those folks who clicked on that little join button right below the video screen and become supporting channel members their level of engagement well it's truly truly appreciated thanks again everybody happy holidays